having the manual controls also does have flexibility. Uh, just in case you don't have the remotes with you or you're far away from it or you're just lazy, you can go ahead and just use your fingers to, to move this up and down. Now three main positions, if you click it to the top position, it will bring the screen all the way up and it will self adjust. You can stop it at any point by just going in the middle. And of course, if you flip the switch all the way down, it will bring the screen all the way to the bottom in the storm position. So just powering on the screen for the first time really brought goosebumps guys this was uh really amazing just seeing this in action uh just kind of changed my perspective of what i thought a projector screen always was so the power time takes about 30 seconds or so uh, once it powers all the way up it will do a self-adjustment just to make sure the screen is fully stretched and ready for viewing and just to give you guys an idea of how large the screen is, this is me with my arm fully stretched. So the screen is a little bit wider than my arms in, and I am about six feet tall, and the screen is about five inches shorter. Again, to give you another perspective, this is a 75 inch television. And once the screen is fully extended, you can see that it pretty much dwarfs this television set, guys. So if you're looking for a bigger screen for a better viewing experience, maybe you're having a game or something on, this will be a great addition just to liven up the party a little bit. So even though most of your time will be spent in front of the screen watching your content, watching your movies, your TV shows, whatever, but most of the action is actually happening behind the screen. That's where you see some of the mechanics of what's actually going on. So looking at the back of the screen, you can see that it does have two main razors or two main rods that actually fold outwards to extend the screen and bring it all the way up. Now looking a little bit closer, it does have some cables that kind of run with a pulley system and the motor will tighten the cables and that's what brings it up. And then of course the, the cables on the end does stretch it out to make the adjustment complete. Now getting a little bit closer, you can kind of see how clean and how well designed this was. Uh, just to get everything working like this, the standstill and fit back in that compartment, it's really well done in my opinion. So today we're pairing up this projector screen with the AXA 4K1 UHD projector. Now this is a, a pretty small form factor projector, but it does pack a punch, guys. I've been playing with this for a couple of days and still haven't been disappointed. As far as 4K projectors go, this is gonna be one of the lower end ones, uh, coming in about $800. Like I said, that is still a little bit steep, but when you consider what else is out there at 4K UHD, you're gonna spend a lot more if you're buying another device. So I'll link the AXA projector as well as the VividStorm screen in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. So about the picture quality. So just remember that this is a projector screen. So yes, it's gonna do a good job just uh, giving you the right picture, but the true magic is gonna come with the projector. And with this, the portability, the flexibility with a great projector, you do have a nice entertainment package at your arsenal. So with projector, it's gonna be all about lighting. Uh, more lights you turn off, the better your picture quality is gonna be. And you'll see as I turn the lights off, you can see the picture pop a lot more. Once all the lights are off, this really comes to life. Like I said, the screen is amazing and the combination with a great projector is gonna give you a really good experience. Now just zooming in on the actual projector screen, you can see not much quality is lost. It should let you know that the screen is entirely filled. I am about eight and a half feet away. And again, this is gonna really depend on what type of projector you have. Some projector you'll have to zoom in or some projector you'll have to move it closer to the screen. So that's gonna depend on the throw distance and width of your projector as well. So pull up stats for nerves just to check the, the frames. Uh, that's more on the projector side, but as far as just the picture quality overall, rich, vivid pictures. Was able to watch 4K videos, was able to watch Netflix in 4K. Also, I was able to do some gaming. So I got on Call of Duty on the PlayStation 5 and didn't notice the difference. I was stuck playing this game for at least two hours. And during that time, didn't really have any discomfort, didn't have any eye issues, didn't notice any lag or anything like that. And overall, everything just kind of fell into place and really fell in love with this combination of this projector and this screen. 
so just to wrap this up this is a screen like i've never seen before that's why i really was intrigued about doing a review and just to pair it up with a great projector really gives it life so shout out to vivid storm for sending this unit out for me to check out like i said i will be leaving a link to their website as well as this particular projector screen in the description of this video if you guys have any questions drop it in the comments don't forget to hit the thumbs up like share and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one